Hi everyone, this is Pastor Laura, and I am coming to you all from our Church of Youth. And coincidentally, this Saturday, we are going to be hosting uh, yoga uh, in this room, and it's going to alternate between, probably between art gallery when it's most feasible, but uh, this Saturday at 11 a.m., come do yoga. If you need more information, you can go to our website and get some info. But uh, this space is really unique in that this used to be a basketball court, and the archives of the church are up on this upper level. Uh, this building just always continues to uh, just absolutely floor me with all the tidbits and history. And so I hope that you can come experience the church or youth in person. But for today's uh, poetry, prayer, and practice, I'm going to be sharing from this brand new book called Black Liturgies, uh, prayer, Prayers, Poems, and Meditations for Staying Human. And this is a brand new book. Uh, I think it came out just within the last week. Um, and the author is Cole Arthur Riley. Uh, coincidentally, Pastor Elizabeth and I both pre-ordered this book, and so I saw it on her desk a couple of days ago, and so... Uh, for that reason, you should grab it because both of us, uh, apart from each other, decided that this was a book we just had to have. But within this book, is there's a lot of different topics, and today I'll be using selections from her liturgies uh, related to dusk. And so this invitation today is for you uh, to just take a moment to breathe and to be present. So there's so little times throughout our day that we can be, just be and be present and listen to the, to the murmurs of our hearts and the murmurs of the Holy Spirit in our life. And so I'll begin with an invitation to this time and there'll be a, a, a write of some scripture and also a prayer and some invitations to you all. So the invitation to this time is as follows. And this comes from Psalm 74. Yours is the day. Yours is also the night. You establish the luminaries and the sun. The reading for this dusk liturgy comes from the book of Ezekiel. It says that the hand of the Lord came upon me. And he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me all around them, and there were very many lying in the valley, and they were very dry. He said to me, Mortal, can these bones live? I answered, O Lord God, you know. And then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says, says the Lord God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. I will lay sinews on you, and you will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin. And put breath into you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. And the prophet says, So I prophesied as I had been commanded. And I prophesied. And suddenly there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone into its bone. I looked, and there were sinews on them, and the flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them. But there was no breath in them. Then God said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, mortal, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, a vast multitude. Then he said to me, Mortal, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say our bones are dried up and our hope is lost, and we are cut off completely. Therefore prophesy and say to them, 
Thus says the Lord God, I'm going to open your graves and bring you up from your graves. O oh, my people, and I will bring you back to the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O oh, my people. I will put my spirit within you and you shall live and I will place on you your own soil. Then you shall know that I am the Lord and I have spoken and will act. This is, this passage is such an interesting passage because it's such a evocative tapestry of an image of a valley of dry bones. And this, this passage is always a challenging passage to me. I've preached on it a couple times, and it's always a reminder that there are times when we feel like we're in the valley of dry bones. And as to connect to this image of dusk, it feels like there's nothing left. There's no, there's no breath in our lives. There's the things that we think are dead. And God sometimes just swoop in and surprise us to bring life to the things that we thought were long gone, decayed, and bo but bones, dry bones. So I wonder what is the dead dry bones in our, in our own lives. So as you hear this next collective liturgy, I invite you to listen to the words and let silence be your guide. And this is Cole Arthur Riley again. This is God our Mother. Forgive our unrest. Meet us now in tender mercy in our bodies as we hold space for every joy and every sorrow of the day. So I invite you to pause in silence to acknowledge both the joy and the sorrow of your day. Steady as we prepare to meet the dark, cradle us in divine arms, and grant us courage to be held. As we prepare our souls for the long night, may our breathing slow. May our muscles soften. Lay us down in you and guide us into rest that we may dream. Glory to the one who holds us and keeps us. Amen. So as we close this time, we are led into dreaming. And may we our bodies find our when we may we find our bodies at rest against the chest of God, keeping rhythm with our breath, with her breath. Together we hear the poet's words from Lucille Clifton. Come, celebrate with me every day. Something has tried to kill me and has failed. As your day draws to a, a close, may you rest in the, in the one who gives us life, the one that gives us hope, and the one who gives us rest. If there are any things that are, are on your hearts, that Pastor Elizabeth or I can be praying for, I invite you to put it in the chat so that this collective community that exists online for this time, that we may honor the cries of your hearts. And also, to, if you have any joys, let us, give us a chance to celebrate what God has done in your life. I hope that you all have a good rest of your day, May you find rest this evening. Amen. Have a good day.